Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. The 2022 Play Expo, the largest game exhibition in the Korean capital region, will open offline for the first time in three years. Sponsored by Gyeonggi Province and organized by the Gyeonggi Contents Agency, Play Expo was cancelled in 2020 due to the pandemic and only featured online trade consultations in 2021. This year, the four-day Play Expo will run in tandem with the Gyeonggi Esports Festival at the Korea International Exhibition Center from May 12th to 15th with a variety of features for visitors to enjoy. Gyeonggi Province recently announced plans to provide counseling and treatment support to youths who are experiencing psychological difficulties due to scars or tattoos. Proposed as part of resident participation budget initiatives, support will be provided to youths aged between 9 and 24. Applications for support can be directed to the Gyeonggi Province Youth Counseling and Welfare Center. Final support recipients will be selected by the Case Assessment Committee. On April 8th, the 2022 Kyunggi Skill Competition ended after a five-day run that began on April 4th. Organized with the aim of identifying and fostering skilled technicians who will lead industrial innovation and advancement in the province, this year's competition saw a total of 570 participants compete in 53 categories. The 160 winners of this competition will represent Kyunggi at the national competition slated for October. During the spring thaw, Kyunggi Province, aided by underground safety guards, conducted safety inspections at underground development sites in the province. Consisting of 53 specialists, the underground safety guards are a provincial advisory body that provides on-site inspections and consultations. Inspections were performed at work sites in nine cities and counties of the province with a special focus on risk factors associated with thawing ground such as cracks and subsidence. Predicting a foreign leafhopper outbreak this year due to warm temperatures in December last year and January this year, the Kyunggi Agricultural Research and Extension Services is calling for close monitoring and timely measurements to ensure population control. Since it takes approximately 20 days for all overwintering leafhopper eggs to hatch, the best effects can be achieved if all control measures are taken concurrently in late May when more than 90% of the eggs will have hatched. Kyunggi Province has announced plans to operate a detached housing repair support program targeting 50 sites in the cities of Butan, Anyang, Guri, Pyeongtaek, and Gimpo on a trial basis. Beneficiary housing units must be at least 20 years old and located within former new town areas. Each housing unit will receive coverage for 90% of repair costs or up to 12 million Korean won, while individuals in vulnerable groups will receive full repair cost coverage. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.